less than a minute to the National College Football Game. <laughs> And also, our our premiere of the of, of uh, Happily Ever After, the new show. Uh, I'm not gonna because I want to experience every moment of it, and also someone's already done it with a much better camera than mine, um, and in a much better location. But I mean, we have a pretty good spot. The castle is beautiful from here. There's not that many people in front of us, so we're really excited to see this. Um, but yeah, Matthias is excited for the football game, I guess. I guess. No, not really. Okay. <laughs> we're just excited for, I don't know, just for it to be done. Uh, this has been a fun trip. We'll see. We just finished the show. We did. It's so good. I love it. I cried. I know. It's, it's like so a massive Hey, she made 200 bucks it. tonight. I, I, thought, <laughs> I thought it was a little awkwardly slow, actually. Like, it was a little... Like, no, but everyone my was camera just staring could, at her. But my camera could focus and, like, and, and follow her. Follow her. But, but the point is, like, fairies aren't supposed to be seen. Like, if you're flying as a fairy, well, you're she's seen, a performance fairy. She's, fairy. <laughs> she's a proxy. Yeah, she's, she's a real <laughs> You're a bad fairy. <laughs> she also failed coming out of the castle. Oh, just saying. Did she? What are you talking about? I saw her before the lights turned on. She was like 15 feet out of the castle before she turned on her lights on. Oh, I, don't like think, I don't think I she, she controls her own her. life. Yeah. I think other people... Well, I don't like, know if it was her or someone else. I don't think she else, has to glide <laughs> and turn on her own lights and look nice. I'm just going to say, for my $100 plus to get into Magic Kingdom, I don't expect the timing to be Don't listen to him. Please don't listen to him. It's wonderful. You're such a troll. Whatever. Well, come here and check it out. Yeah. You know. Or just go, you know, watch it online. It's wonderful. Because somebody probably did it better. But it's I, I, different I, I, in person. I think they take it I around. recorded it, so. You think so? No, I don't think so. I Facebook liked it, so. No, they'll contact you to take it down. Just kidding. I don't think they will. It's because not, it's not Disney lets you do a lot of stuff. Not inside the shows, but the things out here. Yeah, like, how are they gonna get if all it's of it? Production them? quality type of stuff. It won't be on there. For production very long. quality might not. Yeah, that's it true. won't be very long. It might be up there for like ten minutes, but that's also, close enough though. That's also, all I need. When they, when they, um, if they wanted to do they would have already contacted us. They that. They do it when you do it live. Uh -huh, as you are live streaming. They contact That's you and ridiculous. say, I am so sorry, we detected content. They're That's copyrighted. What was the new song? Anyway. I'm trying to see if they're going to turn oh, off. Anyway, enjoy. Going to miss you very much, Magic Kingdom. You really are magical. just arrived at Disney Springs. Very exciting. Uh, there's a live saxophonist, Don Black. Uh, DonBlackSax.com. He's really good. He's got good soul. Got good stuff. There's a Coke store. 
You got a polar bear there. But we gotta get to Morimoto's, otherwise we're gonna miss a reservation. Oh no! Hey look, I see it. There's a lounge called the Forbidden Lounge. And it looks kind of silly. It looks kind of really silly. Mmm, look at those Peking Duck. One of those will be ours. Mmm. Disney Springs is cute. They have a street food side where if you're just getting some of the street food, you can get that. We're going into the actual sit down restaurant though, so we're gonna have to get inside and say we're here for a reservation. So I'm looking at this uh, Morimoto's men uh, menu, and like everything is like actually not as unreasonable as I thought. Coco was saying that it was like $75 per person, it's only $29. He's crazy. But all this stuff looks amazing. Like they have stuff that this Buribap is prepared table side. This Peking duck is $58 because you can't order halves anyway. And they have like these spare ribs and all these noodles and tasio and ramen. It just sounds so good. I'm so excited. Okay, so what did we order? We ordered uh, spare ribs and Yum. appetizers, toro kata. Um, which is what? Which is the sticky ribs. Here are the spare ribs. They just came. Spare ribs. Look how pretty they are. So okay. So Toro is like the fancy part of some fancy tuna. It's a tuna. Yep. And Taktaf is like brown, raw meat. Okay. Ball together. Okay. Kind of Very nice. Flavor. Okay. And then we had tonkatsu uh, ramen, which is like a pork ramen. Yeah, okay. I think most people know what tonkatsu is. <laughs> yeah. um, and then Matthias oh, and I, duck. yeah, we ordered the Peking duck, which we will of course share. And then we also got this jasmine tea, which I am, I'm very happy it came out in a, well, in a teapot. Let's pour it out. Yeah, we want to see what it looks like. So we asked, I asked him, oh, is it, does it have leaves inside? No. Oh, it does have a tea bag. Okay, so we should let it steep a little longer. Tea bag. But I was like, do you guys have tea? I was like, do you guys have tea? And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have like sencha and matcha. And I was like, do you guys have just like hot tea, like jasmine? I know. In my mind, I'm thinking, okay, we're because it's gonna be like a fancy, like a Lipton iced tea or something. And I was like. I just want, I just want like regular tea. He said, I want regular Chinese restaurant, those tea that yeah. <laughs> And then so he was like, yeah, we have jasmine. I was like, let's just do it. He said Dra dragon pearl. Dragon pearl jasmine. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know what that is, but let's just go for it. And it came out in this nice little teapot and it actually is a tea bag steep. So it's actually really, really perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So we also are thinking of maybe getting the bibimbap. If we are still hungry, but Matthias ditched us. I know. We're flying solo. Well, two people solo. We have a bone to pick with Matthias. <laughs> but we will deal with that in yeah, like maybe a week. Time. Yeah. <laughs> once we like, once he cools off. That's right. And I cool off. <laughs> We're so. not sure what happened. I am not sure what happened. So yeah. whatever. It's just being Matthias. So, anyway. And he'll just say that we're just being us. So, whatever. Okay. But yeah, so we ordered. Very excited. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the restaurant. So here, here is the dining area of the restaurant. We can like look up and see all these beautiful, beautiful uh, lamps. Um, there's an up, full upper stairs and all of these beautiful, beautiful scenic areas. There's also this restaurant where they're cooking everything and you can see everything inside. There's like a giant ribs right there. It's like a six and then it's the Peking duck and all of the people and like, oh, that looks like fried rice. Oh look, look who's back, it's Matthias. But yeah, we're at this table. It's pretty cool. Uh, but we're all together again. Hello. So yeah, we are very excited to eat. Okay, so here is the. Um, are you vlogging? Yes. Okay, so this is the choro uh, choro tata. Um, this is kind of. I think this is like a. Uh, 
what did they say? This was um, a special it's, soy it's sauce. A, yeah, dashi, dashi soy, soy sauce. So soy sauce with um, basically seafood flavoring, some kind of seafood profile flavoring in there. Yeah, it's pretty small, but the guy, the waiter, was saying it's all about the flavor. Yeah, inside. it's a very flavor packed. Flavor. And there's wasabi and then some weird fruit that has a seed inside that if you eat it, you it's might like die. A yeah, like a okay, it's a palate cleanser. Cleanser palate. So okay. yeah. So that's these are the first two that come out. We're gonna dig in. So thank you. So the piki duck came. It is already cut and it's beautifully prepared. We got the legs and also the scallions with the uh, hoisin, hoisin sauce. They took it down from they that took one it down. right there. They were that was, missing one. There were six. There were six. Now there are five. And then there's uh, scallions and then a sweet apricot glaze. Mm. And then there are. Then there are the pancakes inside. Which should be delicious. And then it comes with brown rice. Very, very exciting brown rice, brown rice. And then the tonkotsu, Karis' tonkotsu. Yes. It looks beautiful. She got the ginger on the side. I don't know. That's why we said we might order a second piece. Huh? Oh, you think so? What do you want? Do you want the rice noodle? I kind of do. I kind of do. There's like, there's bird's nest in there, and then we can oh, put cooking oil on I got it. steamed veggies last time, and that was good. Oh. I didn't get that. I got the steamed veggies. So you haven't gotten that yet? Okay. My noodles now. I will get that. It's like $22. See my noodles? Okay, but we're gonna dig in. Oh, yeah, I got the noodles. Good. Dig in. So I put the duck down, and then put some scallions, and then I put both sauces on this one. So we'll see how this one goes. So I just basically just rolled it up, because I don't really know what I'm doing. Yeah, oh no, so it you, came out. You like I deconstructed it, so that's why I failed. Like but I'm gonna just put it back together and eat it, because I don't care. Meat on top, called Dory. Yeah. Before I ruin it. <laughs> they do such a good job to make it look so good. So the stone bowl is really hot right now, yeah, right? Yeah, it will stay hot for a while. Yeah, okay. So, that's our nori. Uh, this is a yuzu kosho, a citrus pepper paste. It's gonna get mixed in with everything. Beneath we have the furry, the mature yellowtail, cut sashimi style that I'm going to take and sear right on the side of the bowl. It is raw, so you'll get the full flavor of the yellowtail, but a really nice texture will come from that sear. Beneath we have a medley of vegetables, including pickled carrots, pickled radish, uh, daikon, uh, sesame garlic spinach, as well as zenmai, which is a Japanese royal fern. I'm going to break that egg yolk open in the center and mix it all together with this pop sauce, which is a sweet sesame soup. And all the while, that yellow tail is going to get a very nice ear. Too. Now, are we familiar with Iron Chef Morimoto at all? A little bit. A little bit, yeah. yeah. Well, back in the Iron Chef very. Japan days, uh, the Rice Challenge episode, he came up with this dish, premiered it, and he actually won that episode too, so it's got a pretty cool history to it. Um, traditionally, for the bibimbap, uh, thoroughly mixed rice, usually comes with beef as a protein. However, being an Iron Chef, he had to make the dish his own, including his own choice of seasonal veggies, uh, the sweet sesame soy bob sauce, and of course, the star of the dish, the buri, which you can see has a very nice. Oh wow! Uh, All right, my job now is to try and make it look as pretty as it did. Uh, we'll see how I do. All right, awesome. I've worse. Good job. Good job. Nice. <laughs> Right there for you. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. All right, enjoy your Thank you very much. Oh my goodness. No, I don't think so. That's kind of <laughs> All right, so we just finished and we destroyed the table. Yes. We ate everything. Oh, I got your. I might have gotten your credit card. <laughs> right but, uh, you can barely see it. Yeah, and you can see this yesterday. Really, yeah. Lighting's not good anyway. But yeah. It was very good, right, Karis? Yes. Delicious. Yes. Right, Matthias? Yeah. Yeah, he's busy watching the game. He's more excited about the game than anything else. National football playoffs. National football playoffs, thank you. Two teams that I don't care about. Yes. <laughs>
Yeah. We have no stake in this game. We have no stake in this game, except for football. I said the same thing during the fireworks because the game started exactly the same, the same time. Yeah. So, so it goes two minutes until and uh, national college football. Yeah. But anyway, Sorry, Morimoto's is very delicious. Uh, the ribs were good. Yeah. The, you thought the you thought the the, the tatar was good. Yeah, and then ramen was good. Peking duck was deliciously fatty. Um, and then the bibimbap was ooh, that was good. Matthias really liked the the tuna, the burry bob. Yeah, the yellow tail, not the burry bob. Yep. Really liked that, and then I really liked the rice. So we are all very full at this point. Very pleased. Yes, very happy. The restaurant is closing up. It's quieting down, but and we have to go home and pack at some point. So oh yeah. The They've kitchen is empty now. They're clearing everything. They put the they put those like um, the, the ducks away, and they also put those like uh, birds' nests away. So everything it looks like a very nice stainless steel industrial kitchen. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's very nice. It's very nice. It's been a, it's been a good night. So our server Stephen brought out celebrate, celebrate, and it's shaped like a Mickey. Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, happy birthday, Google. Thank you. Thank you. I am such a selfish person. You should do it in slow mo. What slow mo? There's a slow mo mode. That's what I used to take the picture of the of the macaw. It's everyone's birthday. The macaw. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The macaw. Remember when we saw it? That's how. She's so social media. Go over to this your... is how Paris social media is. No, go go to your photos. <laughs> okay, but can you please? Can you blow it out? I will. But go to your photo. Slow mo. See, this is what I mean. Okay. <laughs> Did you find it? Okay. <laughs> Yes? I don't have slow mo. <laughs> Manual slow mo. <laughs> Good job. Let's go eat it. Yay. Wait, what is it? It's just cream with I think it's vanilla cream. bean ice cream and a it's chocolate, cream. chocolate celebration. Do you want the chocolate? That's super cool. So it's a little bit after 11 o'clock. We're at Disney Springs. Um, walking back to the lift area. I don't know. I'd have to look at the map. Where does the Where does the map look like it's taking us? Where are we walking towards? Not just the buses, but where are we walking towards? Hey look, Uniqlo. But I think it's probably closed. Almost everything closes after at 11 at Disney Springs. So, not much there. I think we missed World of Disney, but let's be honest, we have way too much Disney stuff anyway. We will check the, uh, the hotel airports if they're, or the hotel stores, the airport stores if they're open. $10. It's $10 to get home? Yeah. Okay. Is it worth it? Should we do it? Up to you. You're the one who wants it, so if you, if you want it, you get it. Yeah. But yeah. Polite Pig. I heard the Polite Pig barbecue is pretty good. World of Disney. Oh, it's pretty. There's a lot of around. Oh, there's a lot of people still here. I thought Disney Springs was dying down. <gasps> Big Lotso. Where? Behind you. That baby is so <laughs> Big Lotso, Big Lotso, Big Lotso. Oh, they're closing the stores, or the doors to World of Disney. Everything is closed. Everyone needs to go home. Can't stay here. Oofoofly. Oofoofly. So cute. It's the last night. We gotta pack because I'm leaving in four hours. I hate everything. I don't wanna go home. Okay, but gotta start packing. Happy evening, Race Mickey.